snacks. Want to do snack as a snack cast? Yes, it's your boy Gage. That's sin. This is jokes. Yo. This. It's Loading Snacks Weekly, where we get together once a week, talk about things that happen in pop culture. Yeah. A couple things we need to discuss. Um, first and foremost, we're going to collect our thoughts about All-Star Comic Con. And then, following that, we're going to give our overall impressions of E3, what we think, blah, say, blah, yakety, schmackety. Cool. So, having said that, let's begin with All-Star. Um, yeah, that, that, <laughs> that, that. So here's what I want to do. I'm gonna let you start, okay? And then we'll go and let Sin speak on it, and I'll just kind of, you know, bump and grind, chime in. Gotcha. You know? So, I mean, just to take the whole con and to sum it up in one word, I would say epic. Um, I mean, from party before the actual con started, Friday. <laughs> We'll start uh, with the party? Friday. Okay. We're gonna start with the the VIP. So if you guys weren't VIP, you didn't get to go to that party. You missed you missed some good stuff at that Facts. party. Um, Facts. but just the overall atmosphere, you know, it's so welcoming. It's so inviting. Doesn't matter if you've if you went to year one or if you've been to year one and came through. Like the love was all around. Like you felt like you were home like it was a like it was a family right. or I mean yes it was a family oriented event but whew, it was amazing like I'm still recovering we're all still recovering like absolute fun okay I dig it uh, <clears throat> definitely want to give a shout out to Kev Mike everybody behind them at All Star for Trusting us and giving us uh, that massive uh, opportunity with having a stage to ourselves and creating our own content, doing announcements, like trusting us with it. Uh, I believe we hit we hit it out the park with it. Personally, like I think we all did a, a really good job staying on top of things, making announcements, getting people involved. Uh, like you said, be how how the other vendors out there with us even uh, commented that. They thought something like that would be annoying, but right. it turned out they had fun with us too. Like right. I said, we weren't overwhelming them or talking over them, like all that kind of stuff. Like, uh, absolutely amazing. Like, by far, probably my best con experience ever from the parties to just hanging with the people, to doing things on stage with people, between all the crazy snacks, uh, uh, the trivia with the Shady Squad. That was a lot of fun. Just even though we were so busy. We didn't really get to touch the upper floor. All right. You know what I mean? But still such a amazing experience. And unbeknownst to us, for them to notice that kind of beforehand, before we even started, to get that belt made for us to present us with it at the after party, uh, just, just means a lot to us. Knowing all the hard work that we've put in going into All-Star, we took it very, very seriously. Uh, definitely means a lot from all of us here at loading snacks very very appreciative i love it. i absolutely can't wait till next year uh yeah. whether we're doing that again or not just to be there and have fun with everybody in that con experience that only you can get an all-star like i love it yeah i mean i i'm a um kind of pivot a little bit on some what you said i don't i mean i don't know for a fact that i don't think the belt was made for us i don't think so either i think I, the the, the the belt I think was was honestly made as something that they knew they were gonna want to present to someone that embodied mm. what they felt was being the, an all star. Yeah, was being an all star, was was coming through and just being a great member of that family. Um and I think that while there was probably some trepidation about how effective maybe we were going to be mm -hmm. doing the stage, what it was really going to turn out like, how much prep or work. We put a lot of effort, a lot of time and effort went into putting that whole thing together. A lot of meetings, a lot of discussions. Mm -hmm. Getting that um, schedule to a team. Schedule yeah, to a team and still yeah. rolling with the punches. Kind of, yeah, the yeah. adjustments. Yeah. Doing, doing, doing all of that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I think that having moments that, you know, we've always been adjustable. We, mm -hmm. The way that we operate allows us to kind of be adjustable mm -hmm. on the fly um i think that when somebody comes to us 
you know, one of those guys, Mike, Kevin, Jen, um, mm -hmm. comes to us and says, hey, can you guys, yeah, we got it. We'll take care of it, right? And we're mm -hmm. going to take care of it, right? Um, and that's, you know, we, we've we shown that same kind of flexibility from technically before All-Star was All-Star. Right, right. With, right. like, can y'all go moderate a panel? Can you, yeah. you know, whatever. And, like, we're kind of down for whatever. We're, we, we are team players. Mm -hmm. um, but more than team players, we're family players. So... You know, when you start building something like this, and it is a family, and it feels like a family, I think that what happened more than anything is throughout the day, it became a bit more evident that maybe we were doing more than I think probably was... The idea of what we were doing. Yeah, that, that, that what we were doing was a little more important, and then that was working well. Maybe there was feedback coming in, mm -hmm. you know, from other people. Like, we got multiple compliments during the show of, like, y'all was doing a great job, you know. Yeah. You know, um, I think that moments like kind of not taking over but being instrumental with the line queuing for like jessica parker okay. kennedy's yeah. photo photo shoot staying on top of making sure that we were helping the people with the photo ops mm -hmm. making those announcements staying on top of that kind of stuff making sure that we were queuing the line recognizing that okay wait this line's getting out of hand so mm -hmm. let's do some Straight stuff up. some of our personal experience Friends, dealing with stuff like that oh, kind of kicked me like We've run stuff like that yeah, with long the line. Lines that line, line went. Line it went from out there all the way into the vendor area, yeah, and it was like as yeah. soon as we saw that, it was like he's gonna come. It's like I think we gotta <laughs> make an adjustment right. Yeah, quick. I mean, I when I noticed that the line was going that far, I was like, "This is a fire hazard. Like we let's we need to break that spot. We can't block that door. We can't have people going in here. That's right. gonna block that door. Mm -hmm. Like we need to, we need to get somebody back there and separate that. Like just certain pieces of 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 those things that. I don't know. I just feel like we're things that maybe they weren't necessarily expecting us to 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 kind of jump in jump and be in. a part of or kind of be as helpful. And I say that, and this is not to throw shade in any direction or not, but you would think that you would think that we'd be in the yearbook, and we're not. And I mean, other people pointed that out, right? Mm -hmm. I think everybody else who was featured on the main page was in the book in some way shape or form mm -hmm. you know what i mean or whatever and i don't know maybe i missed something or didn't see something maybe there's mm -hmm. an email you know whatever that's not really what what my point is i think my 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 point is that like we live further away i think than most of the people who tend Tell to you. go like one of the things that i love about all star is that it is not a con that stops when the con is over exactly true. Mm -hmm. true. they continuously there are there are events like even i mean the con ended <laughs> The con ended on Sunday, and on Tuesday, you know, Marissa was having the All-Star Movie Club at the Alamo Draft House. Everybody was going over there to watch Big Charm of Little China. Like, it just, uh -huh. it continues, right. right? And so, Robbie has the book club. Mm -hmm. Marissa's got the movie thing. They do constant meetups at, you know, the Ashburn Pub. You know, so now I'm sure they'll do them at the Personal, personal Pub, personal not at the Personal Pub, yeah. which, by the way, shout out you know, to, to Kevin and, and, and Jen for being, like, on top of that, going through opening a new restaurant, yeah. going while to trying con. to do all the stuff with yeah. the con, con going to the con and turn around the next day. Go right back. Yeah. You know, um, there's just, there's a lot of love and a lot of prep. And, and you know, we get a lot of feedback from people on the floor. True. Very um, true. And we heard it all. We heard the good, we heard the bad. Mm -hmm. I think overall, the experience was great. You know what I mean? For most people. For us, for me, uh, I don't want to speak for y'all. You guys have had a chance to speak for yourselves. For me, um, this the experience of doing this con this way with something new, multiple floors, um, the experience of this con probably really is the best con mm -hmm. I've ever been to. I ever was a part of. Um... You know, I think that for a lot of the people who are attendees, it is that, right? Because it's kind of an all on mm -hmm. all encompassing nonstop party the night before, con all day, mm -hmm. party that night, right. con Back all in day. The morning, yeah. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Um But I think for us having a little bit of inside baseball of what's going on, kind of being able to see behind the curtain a little bit, um, you know, we don't know all the ins and outs and all the intricacies, of but we we know enough to know that what we were doing was appreciated. 
probably was needed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and, and, um, I don't want to say we're essential because I don't feel like we're essential. But I feel like if, if there was another, if, if, when it comes to next year, if we weren't there in the same capacity, mm -hmm. I feel like people would miss it. Okay, you know yeah. what I mean? That that it would be it's it's the kind of thing that I feel like people would miss. And so, um I really am thankful. You know, I wrote a little something, posted it on Instagram, put it on Facebook, just being thankful for the opportunity. Absolutely. Um and for the responsibility. Yeah. Um, so, and, and, you know, I take stuff like that really seriously. Like, we have a good time. Oh, yeah. what Almost certainly. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. We have a good time with what we do. And we just want other people to have a good time. <laughs> Ask straight up. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're aiming for that. And even being amongst people who are con family, who we don't necessarily get to see everybody as often, because again, they do a lot of events, but we're further away. It's harder for us to get to them. Sometimes, mm -hmm. right. You know, um, I definitely intend to, to rectify that. We're working on some things, y'all. Yeah. Um, so that we can do some things to, to kind of make sure that yep. we're more in yeah, tune with some of that stuff. More, yeah. Um, yeah. But I, I'm, I'm, I am... I don't know that other cons will ever quite feel the way this con feels. No, I absolutely agree with that. I do too. No. Nah. You know what I mean? No. Nah. Um, what they I, have, what they have at All Stars, something special. It is, yeah. and I, I like where it is, and and I don't know that there's any intent for it to grow. I think the intention is for it to stay about where it yeah. is, mm -hmm. to do what it does, and keep doing what it does really well. And I expect some innovations and some changes, and of course. you know things like that. Um, but here, I'll say this: two years in a row, I've had issues with the hotel. Two years <laughs> in a row. <laughs> yes, you have. Two years in a row, I've had issues with the hotel. Under any other circumstances, the fire in me would have gone off. It's not, it's, and we're not talking about trying to save face or keep it cool because I'm kind of representing the, the con or anything like that. We're just talking about in, in the grand scheme of things. Even though we're super busy and there's a lot going on, I have a lot on my mind. We got a lot on the schedule. We're trying mm -hmm. to do so many things. There are mm -hmm. definitely things we forgot. <laughs> there are definitely things that we missed. Yeah. Definitely, you know what I mean? It's just there's a lot, right? But I was having such a good time. We all were. That the mm -hmm. only thing that pulled me out of it <laughs> was those issues. Two years in a row. Mm -hmm. Let's see what next year holds. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, I don't hey, what's know. the odds of it happening again next year? I, I want to say not likely, <laughs> but or it ends up not being in his hand and it'll be in one of ours. <laughs> oh, that would be so terrible. I mean, I, you know, hotel aside, everything else was. I mean, it's a, it's a good time, man. So I, I just want to take a moment. So again, say thank you to Mike, thank you to Kevin, thank you to Thomas, thank you to Yama, thank you to Jen, um, you know, thank you to Kurt, Enrique for getting mm -hmm. the belt made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I want to thank the Shady Squad. I want to thank Laney. Yes. You know, all the people who came up on stage, you know, West Magic Joe, Artwork. Maggie, Maggie. Yeah, West, yeah. Joe, Maggie. Mm -hmm. um, just anybody who... <laughs> Kind of put up with our shenanigans because <laughs> because the fact of the matter is like we got shenanigans like that's kind of we, we do let's just we keep do. it a fact like <laughs> snack bites you know the yelling and right. people kind of re responding to that mm -hmm. yelling all star yelling snack bite that was amazing um you know having people kind of get used to it and here after mm -hmm. we do you hear them yelling yeah, it too yeah, yeah. Like, like every other interview um, we did yeah. all star all yeah, star yeah. like I heard over there right it's yeah. just a it's a it's a it, it it there's a magic right that's there. Um, that I think even people who don't, who aren't normal, well, like they're not the normal vendors. Like we have vendors that have been there, you yeah, know, right, yeah. time and time again, you know. But like you see Thomas Howe, your 
your Luke Tenney, your Jessica Parker Kennedy, right. mm-hmm. um, you know, Arthur and them, you know, being like, you know, <laughs> normally this, I would not have liked this, you know what I mean? Mm, but like, you guys. you guys were like entertaining, Stay. you were fun. Like when you, when you're doing an interview and you say to someone like, because that's not a question we don't normally ask, right, right? right? Like there are plenty of people who when we do an interview with somebody, we ask them like, you know, what's what's the best thing you've seen at the con so far? What did you see that was interesting? What did you see that you liked? However it's phrased, that's the first time somebody has said, well, you guys. <laughs> I was like, oh. Right? Because, oh. I mean, but to, to that end, we were on stage in front of him. Yeah, true. A large Run majority center. of the Run time. Center. Yeah, a large majority <laughs> of the time. And so... You know, I'm glad that he enjoyed it, and it was something that he would come back. Yeah. You know, mm. and see again or do again. Um, you know, I think a lot of people were just really hospitable. You know, it's just a really kind of a close knit, cool. You know, Tyrone and Roman and oh. Tom on the audio. Woo, woo, yeah. Woo, no, yeah. Looking yeah. out. Yeah. Um, Salute. Tom was on it. Yes. You know what I mean? Shows yes. up. Let me get a new copy of the schedule. You guys yep. made some adjustments. Shoot it to me. Cool. Let me, you know, I have it. Okay, we got this at such such time. Like, mm-hmm. just on top of it, right? And then kind of flying with, because there were things that popped off there that, like, we couple didn't even know were going yeah, We had a couple yeah, changes, whatever, things right? that we had to adjust to. Um, so, yeah, I mean, overall, I just want to say that I'm thoroughly happy with everything as it went down. And I'm super looking forward to Next year, go around. 2020. So, yeah. Thank you to everybody. Anybody I miss, Mike Slade. Yeah, everybody. Uh, Volunteers, yeah. like every. Yeah. Katie back there at the table. Absolutely. Hold yeah. it down. Yeah. Um, you know, just everybody. Karen, cut up from from four calls coming up on stage. Mm-hmm. Um, CDH Creations. Yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah. Looking out, just yeah. like yeah, like we just we had a good time, and I'm glad we did it, and I'm I'm ready to go again. Absolutely. Oh yeah. I'm ready to go. Oh yeah. Until next year. Yeah. Oh yeah. We could do that twice a year. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We can do that twice a year. (laughs) It's gonna be a problem next year. Just waiting for these games to come out. On that note, right? (laughs) This weekend was also E3. Yep. Yeah. So out of that, right into this. Or did it? That was at the same same time. time. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I I don't want to dwell too long or get into any super specifics. I just want to quickly get your overall impressions each of what we've seen through E3 week. How are you feeling overall about E3? I'm feeling okay. okay. I mean, um, I don't necessarily think there was, you know, that many, like, you know, super, super gigantic wow factors, but, you know, there were some pretty interesting things that we saw. Um, I mean, I know we said no, but Keanu Reeves, I mean, that was apparently breathtaking, but um, uh, that's the thing. But overall, you know, I was, I was, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm, I'm set for some of these new game releases that we've seen. We know about new Xbox. Can you grade it? Can you grade it? Grade it. Overall impression. Can you grade it? Where you at? I'm gonna give it. I give it a. I give it a B. Okay. I give it a B. Okay. Impressions. Uh, <clears throat> overall, I enjoyed myself. Uh, <laughs> believe it or not, I did not miss Sony at all. Like, like they're like. <laughs> I don't know, like, whatever reason, like, I didn't miss anything. I mean, like, it's not like they really had much to announce anyway with things that are coming, like, just, just like, to their specific console. Like, mm-hmm. didn't miss them overall. Everybody has something for, at least something for me to get excited about. Uh, I'm still personally going through a lot of the offstage kind of stuff. Kind of like, like, yeah, like, the, uh, we was looking at the Same Coliseum uh, when we got down here. Uh, as far as a grade rating, what I would give it, I would give it a B. I thought that uh, Assassin's Creed Symphony was Pretty dope. But that was pretty amazing. Pretty dope. Personally. Um I'm in the B plus A minus realm, I think. I always get excited about E3. Absolutely. It almost don't matter what they do. But I'm not there's a lot of games. That's a lot. Yes, it is. There's a lot of games. We got a lot of release dates. There's a lot I'm excited for. That spring. I don't have time or money for. Spring 2020. Oh, my body started crying. It, it, um, I think as a whole, E3, I agree with you. I, I didn't miss Sony. I will say that Sony was there. Mm-hmm. Right? Because Square has games that are 
first, right, first you know, thing. content for Certain first exclusive, there. whatever. Certain things is going there. Final Fantasy, right? We know it's not exclusive. We know it's time, but we don't know how for how long. Mm. So, um, you know, when Square shows up and takes Sony's spot mm -hmm. and has a bunch of stuff that they show, yeah, that is Switch mm -hmm. or is Sony, and not a lot of it is also Xbox or also going to Xbox. I mean, Sony's there. Right. Without paying no. to be there. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, they had a presence. I... I Overall, I, I feel good about what Microsoft showed, for the most part, what Ubisoft showed, what Square showed, with an exception or two, um, <laughs> what Bethesda showed. Um, Devolver Digital's joint was Devolver Digital. Um, so, yeah, I mean, as a whole, I really dug it. And, yeah, there's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff that we'll get into on cutscenes. And, and dig yeah. into some of the more specifics and talk about some of our favorite things from throughout the things we're most excited about. But overall, I say A minus B plus okay. somewhere in there. I'm undecided. Okay. You know. Um So listen, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for Lotus Nights Weekly this week. Um let us know how you felt about E three. Mm -hmm. If you were in the area and you went to All Star Comic Con, please yes. let us know how you enjoyed yourself please do if please. you have a favorite moment something that stood out and a favorite you, image a pic <laughs> if i need to be following somebody who was there on Let instagram no hey, and if you tried one of our snacks hey i just think about it i think Where we know comments? what they thought about it but, you know <laughs> just <laughs> let me know in the comments below uh how you felt about it all overall with that we're out tools and lose what it do, snackers and snackettes? Did you like what you just saw? If so, all I need you to do is like, share, and subscribe. Then hit the ding -a bell so you get a notification every time we upload a new video. Then shoot over to patreon.com forward slash loading snacks where you can support us. Then click this video or click this video. Now who got snacks? Anybody? Who got snacks? I do.